hi guys hope that they are doing well welcome back to a new video today i want to answer to another question or more exactly i want to show how you can create a space in um, in dialogues if you don't have a dvg file which of course you can import in uh, in dialogues and then um, construct or um, the the building and then each space uh, separately based on the on the room um, designation so let's see the question it's about um, the following video light for the corridor and i got um, the following request can i get the evo file of this corridor for some training and i just want to say that this is it doesn't have a dvg file behind and therefore i want to to show you that if you don't have a dvg file and you want to create your own room it's just room planning and then you have the dimensions here i will just use this one uh, it's a rectangular or you have uh, uh, let's say free room space and here is also very important is the space that you want to to generate was the category for example is uh, educational area our application office healthcare um industria so it's much easier let's say we will go on control rooms for example like the space and then you have also uh, an application plant room switch gear rooms and so on and here easily we can let's say place nine meter the width and here we will say yeah 25 meter and height we put three meters and after you add the dimension of the room and you select the space and application you just need to click ok and then the space will um, or the room will be shown in a couple of moments into dialogues with all the settings that you have defined already and after you have the, the room spray space created, you can add, for example, the furniture. You can see it's also on the 3D. And that's what I'm saying. It's much easier to learn to create a space by yourself than try to yeah, copy someone else's uh, space. And maybe you don't have you have a different version of dialogues and you cannot import it or use it. And then it's just adding more headache. So I will advise if you want to do a training, it's easy to create your own space. As I showed early, you have the room planning, add uh, the room dimensions, and then as well you can go with uh, with application and also the space. And if you want to change later on something, you can just go on this icon and then you click here. And if you want to plant room for example or technical room you can also name the room and you see it here as well and it will pop up as well here so you know exactly the room and here you have also the height of the um, from where the the light pla uh, light level will be calculated the wall zone if you can eliminate or you let until the wall to, to have the lighting uh, calculation realized and here you see the space and also the application if you want to change later on you can do it by here the selections storage for example and then you have also updated automatically the um, illuminance maintenance values like the visual task surrounding area background area and of, of course the uniformity and as well very important also the glare limitation especially when we talk about um, office buildings for example spaces so let's define it like this and as i said i will just escape i will not save it and next step after you add you can go on the to add as mentioned the furniture you have the two catalogs the material and the color and here as well you have the catalog you can import 
or you can use already the objects which are available already in dialogues to make your life easier and you can just drag and drop and then you see it also in 3d how it looks and then you have also the possibility to add columns if you have for example columns in your space and you can change of course the dimensions from here and let's see if you have windows you want to add to your space and you can add it here you can copy so practically you can do a lot of whatever you want you can you can do it just by the room planning so all the features after you create the room are available um, as in case that you want to import a, a dvg file only the difference in the dvg file that is defined already where you have the windows maybe also the type of furniture so that's just straightforward in, in the other way around when you don't have a dvg file and you need to create the room by yourself you need to pay attention to all the details when you add the furniture and then the room elements and furniture and yeah and after you consolidate all the room elements you move to the lighting and then if you have already used luminous you should have it in the history so you can just drag and drop or you can use the catalogs so that's my advice uh, when you want to to start creating or training train yourself in the dialogues start with the room planning define the which space application type you have then dimensions of that room and then step by step you you need to move to the room elements windows um, room elements um, furniture texture of the walls the floor ceiling and then in the end you have to to do the to choose which luminaire um, you want to be used for that application and then you have after you add the luminaires you just start the lighting calculation and then you get the end result so i hope that this information are useful you find useful so don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel channel give a like and i wish you all the best until next time bye, -bye.